In this video here, I'm gonna show you what to do if the security light flashes on a Chevrolet Lumina or really any GM vehicle that has uh, these, uh, what they call resistor pellets in the key. And they can go bad and also what can happen is some wires can break and it can cause the security light in your car to flash and the vehicle to not even crank to start. So um, first off, this is a 98 Lumina. It's got 240,000 miles on it. Got a lot of miles on it, but it still runs fine. This is my sister's car and she called me and said the car wouldn't start. So I went over there to take a look at it. Sure enough, it was uh, no crank, no start. The security lights flashing. So I knew right where to look. I figured there was probably something wrong with the resistor and the key, but uh, I put some dielectric grease on the key and it started working again. So, but that only worked for a little while longer and then it quit again. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and tap into the circuit here and uh, figure out what the resistance value of this key is and then wire in a resistor to the circuit. Well, the problem was I couldn't even measure the resistance on the key. So apparently the problem was in the key itself. To make things even worse, this was the only key she had. She had no duplicates. Now, GM uh, makes a tool, it's a J something number, I don't know the exact number, but you can actually plug it in to the uh, pass key sensor and then select one of the 15 different resistor or uh, resistance amounts on the, on the tool. I don't have that tool though and I didn't feel like spending the 200 bucks to get it. So what I did was I went on the internet and I looked up uh, the 15 different resistance values and here they are. These are all kilo ohms. So right there, that was the first one I tried, 400 ohms. I got super lucky. It just so happened that the second one on my list, 523 ohms. I'm sorry if I said kilo ohms on there, I meant to say ohms. But 0.523 kilo ohms is 523 ohms. That just so happened to be the resi uh, resistance value that was programmed into this vehicle. So, I'm just going to show you what I did here to uh, figure this out. In the vehicle, you remove the sound insulator here, or the kick panel, and there's an orange wire here. It's actually got two wires inside of it. This is just an orange insulator, rather. And there's a plug right there, and here is the male side for the terminals, the female connector, but male terminals. Um, what I did was I just went ahead and I cut that right there where you see these two jumper wires are because I was planning on bypassing it anyway. Uh, I mean, if somebody steals a 98 Lumina with a quarter million miles on it, they got bigger problems. Anyway, so what I did, I went ahead and took two uh, jumper wires here with alligator clamps and I clamped them onto the wires there. I stripped the wires back to expose them. Ran my uh, jumper wires with alligator clamps up here and here's some resistors from when I tried the first one. But what made it easier for me was using a circuit board that I have. So I got all my resistors out in my circuit board and I started building circuits with the resistors to match the amount of resistance that uh, the specs called for that I found online. And so in this case what I did was I took a 460 ohm and a 60 ohm resistor and put it in series here on the board. I took my DVOM and just made sure that I was getting the correct value by touching those two together. Hopefully I can do this single-handed. There you go. About 530 ohms. Seeing as it's only 7 ohms off, that's plenty. And if you know about resistors, you know that the, the final band indicates the, uh, the variance value anywhere from 1, 5, 10%. And if there's no band, it can vary by 20%. So, 533 was close enough. So I went ahead and took this board and hooked it up to the car. Once I had the alligator clamps connected to the resistors on the jumper wires going to the theft deterrent module, went ahead and put the key in the ignition, turn it to the run position. And bingo, the security light went out. Just like that. Wasn't flashing nothing, turn it to the start position fired right up. That's all that's to it. It takes a little time and uh, like I said I was lucky that the second resistance value just so happened to be the one I was looking for but that's how you do it.
All that's left to do now is wire those resistors in series to that circuit there with these two wires and your vehicle is good to go.